Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Ascension level 14, lower max HP. Let's do it. Honestly, I was thinking random boss relic, but give me a random rare relic. Intangibility every six turns is kind of lovely. If we time it correctly, we can, you know, fight mini bosses and have very easy turns against them. But am I really the type of person to be able to make that sort of min maxing? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. Um, what is the proper elite path? One, two, three. We can fight three. I like this path because there's an upgrade, but then we just go to a shop with basically no gold, and I would prefer not to do that because then if we fight two more elites, then we have no upgrades. I kind of like this path. A burning elite, we can get the incense burner charged up right before the fight. Lots of upgrade targets. We're not really wasting too much in the form of the the shop. There's a lot of combat, but I think we can make this work. I hate this turn. We're taking seven damage just due to bad turn one draw. Not really much we can do to protect ourselves there, unfortunately. Nine plus 12, not enough to kill you, so I think we just block. We're not going to get Eruption on this turn, but if he doesn't attack, he'll be dead as soon as Eruption comes back around. Or two more attacks. We lost seven. That's not too bad. We get a Strength Potion, which is pretty good, and we get a choice of Meditate or Perseverance. I, I like Meditate. It has good retained synergies with Establishment, um, and it enters Calm. I don't like that it ends your turn. I think Perseverance might be slightly better. Meditate's a good card, but you know what? To be perfectly honest with you, Perseverance is also a good card. Do I stand by the choice? I think I stand by the choice. I like Retain Blocks, and as a one energy Retain Block, it's pretty effective. We do want better attacks in the deck, but... <laughs> sure, I'll take two. We do need better attacks in the deck, but we have a Strength Potion to use on an Elite Fight if we need it. And on top of that... We can uh, use Wrath State in order to do a lot of damage. We don't necessarily need to, uh, to add attacks necessarily. We should, but we don't have to. We should probably add an attack now. I hate Wreath of Flame because it's a skill. The damage is doubled if you're in Wrath. You know, a strike will go from dealing... 6 to 12 to, what is it, 14 to 28? 28 damage with a wreath of flame on a basic strike? Eh. I like prostrate with for that mantra gain. Empty Fist could be, you know, Empty Fist, I never take it because it's not block or card draw, but in Wrath, this is a good finisher. 18 damage or 28 damage exiting stance. Let's give it a shot. We need another offensive card. We're also intangible. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, I feel like you just take whatever damage you take and you eruption. So, like, make sure you're dead in a turn. No, we should we should defend. No, I'm, I'm going to take adva full advantage of the uh, the attacks that we have in hand. Okay, taking no damage. We are going to be weak, but we have these Perseverances. They're very good block, should we need them. And the longer we stall, the better they get, so I think we'll be fine. We're not taking any more damage on this fight. Well, actually, we're taking no damage on this fight, right? Sounds about right. Good. Flex Potion. Doom, 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 doom. Flex Potion in Eruption is very good damage. I think also a Crush Joints is very usable. It's not that useful against the... It's not that useful against the... Uh, We got potions that are strength. Let's take the flying sleeves. Not that useful against the artifact elites, the obelisks. 
I'll try it like this. No one's attacking turn one, gotta love it. Please give me some attacks. This is good enough, this is good enough. Wave of the hand, have to take it. One of the most important cards in the entire game. We are gonna have Incense Burner on the wrong turn! I thought, for some reason in my head, I was I was paying attention to it, but for some reason in my head, I thought the five was a six. Or the, the five was the four. I thought we had another turn on it. So we completely effed the intangibility. To be fair, we kind of needed the, kill, the, the previous combat when we did, but it's not great. It's not great. So if I play these potions, it'd be seven damage per strike. I think you wait for Eruption. Maybe we should have played Vigilance for the extra energy. But now I'm like, okay. We should have played the Strength Potion. But at least we did kill him. We didn't take too much damage. Empty mind, follow-up pressure points. We don't have a synergy that makes cards very cheap or playable. We have no other way of entering Calm. I think another attack is helpful. I am going to upgrade a card. If we're lucky, we can get through the next couple of combats without taking too much damage at all, so I think this is okay. Wave of the Hand is not what we're looking for. We need, we need offense. Um, empty Fist, 28 damage. Exiting stance. Cheaper eruption. Give me the empty fist. We can play in column to also get e extra energy, so it's not like it's horrible. We're just gonna let the perseverances grow. Yeah. We should save Distilled Chaos for the next turn, because we can wave of the hand, Distilled Chaos, strike, follow up, and then defend. On this turn, we should probably... No, because we're going to Empty Fist on this turn. Ah! Okay. <laughs> it's weird, but he's weak for the next turn, which is not the worst thing in the world. But we, we do lose the 14 block, but... I mean, it was kind of okay. You're doing 15 damage? Okay, take one. We're intangible. So th this is a perfect eruption turn. Hold on to flying sleeves. We will kill Lagavulin taking two damage. That's pretty freaking good. We get dead branch. I love it. It's it's a weird card to have, but we've had very good luck with Dead Branch in the past. And at the very least, Ascender's Bane and the Miracle will give us a free Dead Branch activation. I think a Consecrate is okay because we're probably going to fight the Obelisks. Ceramic Fish, no thank you. And dude, honestly, give me another Smith. I feel like maybe we can make this work. Maybe, just maybe, we can fight the uh, the elites and take no damage. Hit you. Might be able to kill you? Okay. Another Consecrate is not that bad, but I don't think we need two of them. I'm going to take it anyways. It's a free attack. Why not? Maybe it'll be super effective. Give me a heal. No, give me a relic. A curse is not what we're looking for. Decay. At least it's not a, a horrible curse, but that's, you know, obviously not what we're looking for. We're going to take six damage. Well, we're going to take more than that. We're going to take eight damage. Nothing we can do about it. If I kill you, we're going to be vulnerable, but what else are we going to do on this turn? Wave of the Hand Perseverance is... We take like 7 damage if we kill you, but then we still got to kill you. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? Ornamental fan, thank you very much for the block. I appreciate that. Now, we are going to get Incense Burner immediately in the next fight, but I still think we kill this guy. Turn one against the, uh, the obelisks. We don't have to block. That's basically what this means. It's not great, but it's okay. Foreign Influence. I actually really like this card for uh, a heavy hitting turn. It is the obelisks. Mind Blast, Flash of Steel, Chrysalis. For free, I think Chrysalis is okay. We get Vault, Scrawl, and Deus Ex Machina, and we get a Brilliance in our hand. That's actually extremely useful. <laughs> it's a pretty good turn. And because we have extra free cards, I'm kind of thinking, let's Miracle to see what we get. Let me scribe block. Not useful, but what we can do is remove their artifact protections, take no damage, get a couple of hits in. They're weak for the next turn. Thank you, ornamental fan wave of the hand. We get a master reality, which does synergize with dead branch. So, follow up. Give me a master scrawl. We get a what? Oh, we got we drew Deus Ex Machina, which gave us miracles, and the vault went into the into the discard pile. But that's a different vault than the one that's free. What? Okay, so erupt, consecrate, foreign influence. Free clothesline is perfectly acceptable. Uh, flurry of blows. Give me the miracle. <laughs> okay, Diva Form is a little unnecessary game. And all we need is one attack to kill the sentry. This was a great elite fight. It's a little weird, but we're also going to easily kill the sentry. We took very little damage. Establishment, Flying Sleeves, Empty Fist. Because we have Perseverance times two and a Flying Sleeves, I think Establishment is perfectly okay. And it's a great card, not only to upgrade, but it's a great card to um, kind of build around. We know we're going to draw it turn one every single combat. We know that it's going to allow us to get free attacks. It's pretty good. Blasphemy, no thank you. Honestly, that's a pretty good opening turn. 50 damage, it's acceptable. Okay. Two, three, defend. We're gonna take nine. We have two free cards. We probably didn't need to play that, but what else am I gonna play on this turn? Fear no evil. I like that card. It's gone now. We we drew Perseverance again, which is very nice. Give me a... Foreign Influence. Core Surge. The artifact doesn't matter, so I think Rampage is okay, because it'll come back around and do more damage, I guess. You're weak for four turns, which is lovely. I know I played the other Perseverance, but I don't think it really matters. Artifact doesn't protect you from dying next turn, otherwise it could have been nice. <laughs> I don't know, we can make you weak for a little longer, I guess? I don't really want to exit stance, so let's make you weak for one more turn at the cost of perseverance, but it'll, it'll come back around. Hopefully. That was a nice little combo, exit stance, enter stance, I like that. Uh, unfortunately, 
We're gonna be on two HP, and we still have to do 97 against the Hexaghost. We're intangible. But we have to we have to hold on to Blasphemy. It's gone. We have to enter Eruption at the very least and try to kill you on this turn. It's the only way. We're not dead, which is very handy. In fact, we're not even taking it. That much damage? Taking none? One more turn might kill you? I really want to see where this goes. We just gotta live. Okay. <laughs> one attack? Let's go. That was uh, way too close for comfort, but we made it work. Brilliance, Omniscience, Vault. Omniscience could hit nothing good. You know, I kind of like Deus Ex Machina because when you play the Miracles, you get new cards. So I'm going to take it. It's the slightest synergy with Dead Branch. Now, are we going to remove a card? We could remove a Curse and like a basic defend or strike immediately. Or we could get more energy when we exit Calm Stance. We don't have Ice Cream, so we have to use the energy immediately. But it is kind of an energy relic. We have to exit Stance, but we have a couple of cards that do it. Maybe this will be okay. Possibly not, but maybe. Holy crap. One, two, three... Nearly four guaranteed elite left path. No thank you. There is a late shop. There's a lot of question marks along the way. Okay, let's do it. Well, we have no blocks. So, halt. Talk to the hand. Actually wonderful. Follow up. Consecrate. Strike. Strike. Halt, taking no damage. I can't believe we actually made that work. <laughs> Milkjug likes the graphic for the Lotus. Exit calm, gain an additional energy. It's a pretty flower. Yo, we actually got another card off of Deus Ex Machina Exhausting. So whenever you get this, you get one card at random plus the miracles, which when you play them give you random cards. I kind of love it. This is also a pretty good turn. We need a better block. And honestly, the insight is additional card draw. We're going to take the evaluate. Remove card. Yes, please, I have a curse. Incense burner, dead branch, obtain a special relic. I miss when this gave you three choices instead of two, but I can't lose either of those relics. They're how I'm living. They're what this run is built around. Of course you give me the blocks on a turn when I don't need them. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, cards are going to get real cheap real fast. Um, but other than that, that was a horrible, horrible turn. These are going to be weak for one turn. We're going to take seven damage, five damage. Had the math real wrong on that one. We have an empty fist. Two miracles, nothing to do on this turn. I feel like we save the miracles and then on the next turn, maybe go to town. Because we're going to have the strikes, maybe we can somehow enter a stance. So right now I'm just going to hit. And then hope that the Ascender's Bane plus other cards that we have plus the miracles will give us some good stuff. But I would really like something that gives me wrath, which is not going to happen. Still, you're dead. Can I draw that card? You're not dead. All right. You're going to get away with, away with my gold. I hate it because I need that gold, but oh well. Battle him. Cut through fate, sash whip. I, I really like the idea of battle him with the dead branch giving me an, an additional card. Like water for calm is also nice, but dude, having... Three attacks after they get established, plus another card at a dead branch. This is the winning combination. 
kind of hoping for a block, but that's okay. Now we have to live until we get like an, a proper energy relic. That would be very handy. But it's still okay. I wish I could exit stance. I really do. Because we would get a lot of energy. But what we cannot do on this turn is unfortunately exit stance. So we're going to be dumping some stuff. Foresight will bring Weave back over and over again, but I needed to do some stuff on that turn. This gives us enough block on its own. Then you can smite, reduce the plated armor by three. Oh, excuse me, sneeze. <laughs> Play flying sleeves and turn. 12 damage, not that much. Empty fist, gotta love it. Although we don't need to play empty fist. We can play eruption into a smite into an empty fist and you're dead. Once we played our powers and had a couple of turns, that was an easy fight. I am gonna take another empty fist, I think. Exiting the calm state, giving me the extra energy is kind of important. We are going to upgrade a card. Let's get that battle him innate. Cause now after the second turn of combat, we have free attacks. So it's very, very worth playing. Yo, free cards. We're not gonna play them. We got free miracles. We're gonna play them now. These cards, since they're not being drawn, they're not gonna be randomized with the Sneko effect. Which means we don't need to draw them, I guess. But I do want more block in this turn. I'll play one. The other Perseverance is gonna get cheaper. Four energy. With four energy, I can take no damage. It's Perseverance, Consecrate, Smite, Flying Sleeves. I don't really want to play Mental Fortress. It's gonna end turn. Perseverance is getting cheaper. Got a Smite in hand. Cannot enter Calm, so Empty Fist doesn't give us anything. That's free. Miracle gives me Diva Form. Um. We got fasting. <laughs> I mean, Diva Form is great. I can put up one block. I can put up seven block with Diva Form. So I'm going to do it. You take three damage. But now we've got extra energy. I mean, that's helpful, right? Uh, Fear No Evil is wonderful because we can eruption, follow up, Follow up, smite, fear no evil, and you're dead. I guess Diva Form wasn't really necessary in the end, but it was still good to have in the moment. A protect is lovely because it'll be free eventually. Um, remove strikes, obtain bites. I think this is worth it because we need the healing, honestly. We lose a lot of max HP, but you know, we gain one card, we gain one bite, but now we can actually heal up. Sure, I'll take it. If I can get to... I'm gonna play the uh, Vigilance. Yo. If I can get to the point where we're at 47 HP and that's our max, it is what it is. And on a turn like this, you know, what else are we gonna do? Nothing. We're holding on to everything else, making them free next turn. So, Erupt, Smite, Follow Up, that's a very good card. Give me the Bite. You get Smite, Indignation, Empty Fist. Might as well make you heal on the next turn. You're not healing, huh? Very rude. 
Cleave stand Carve reality, probably. Well, we could enter Wrath immediately. Can we kill you? Absolutely. We healed up quite a lot on single fight. That's That makes me feel really good about my decisions so far. Now, Thorns is kind of useless. We'll take the energy potion. I think a talk to the hand is wonderful. We have a wave of the hand, so talking to the hand does help and does make sense. I think we'll add a card instead of sleeping, because we have bites. And I think a fear no evil is what we want. We're adding a lot of attacks, even though we have the... Uh, the battle him, but the battle him is a free attack after two turns, so it's it's worth playing. It's worth spending a couple of cards on turn one on. Now a pen nib is interesting. Card removal is also interesting. I think we're gonna go pen nib card removal. Remove a. What card do we not want? Follow-up is not that important. I'd rather have a bite than a single free attack sometimes. You can get good value out of it by comboing with energy. Maybe we should get rid of a single bite. Could also get Flurry of Blows. You know, with with Ornamental Fan, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll replace replace a bite with a Flurry of Blows and then we, then we can ignore the shop. Relic for a curse. Become cursed. Shame. We're gonna be so frail on this upcoming fight that I'm gonna do it. We get Maw Bank. Not worth it. <laughs> Almost certainly not worth it. Oh my lord. Also, can I just say this is a horrible turn? Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. We didn't draw any blocks. Admittedly, we have a lot of attacks in the deck, but still, please, game, help. <sighs> By the way, I love that we're going to be intangible on a turn. When this guy's not doing anything? It's lovely. Hit ya. We will. Hit ya. We will. Give me a rush down, a bite, empty fists. Might as well save the smites. They're free, and when we get eruption, we'll, we'll be able to kill them. We have to get eruption, though, which is in our discard pile, unfortunately. Um, give me a. Collect. Crush joints. Okay, crush joints. Pen nip smite, you're dead. Thank you. Weirdly enough, I think that an upgrade is better here. Because we can heal off of bites. And honestly, the block return from talk to the hand is probably a little bit more worth it. So you are buffing on turn one. Unfortunately, we are not making you weak, which is very negative. We are frail. You're buffing on turn two. Okay. Um, let's erupt. <laughs> Good ball lightning. I think a free attack added to the deck is okay. No reason to play a miracle for a smite. Sands of Time is going to get real cheap, real cheap, real fast. Now, we have to put up 34 block. We're not frail. Perseverances won't do it. We need a miracle. It's also not going to do it. But we can get extra... No, we don't have block return yet. Um... Bum, 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 I hate playing these. You know, this will give me four block. 
We're on Pednib. Devotion's worth playing. We take zero damage exactly. Perseverance is now free and better. You're not doing anything, which is lovely. Bite. Okay. I'd rather save the Flying Sleeves than the Smite, because the Flying Sleeves is more block. He he's, he's not doing anything, though. He's scared of me. So we're just going to keep healing, I guess. Keep Flurry. In. Draw two cards, exit stance. We might as well empty our hand, I think, at this point. Wallop is pretty good. You know what? Hit him. Ah! Oh, bad pen nib. Should have done it in the opposite order, but that's fine. You're doing 31 damage. Thank you, Intangibility, last turn. I appreciate it. Um, we cannot exit stance right now. Fear No Evil is still okay. This is also still block. But let's see what we get out of the Miracles. I don't think we need a Miracle, but I think it is still worth having. Yo, very good draw. Thank you very much. Heal up. Intercom. End turn. Two Flying Sleeves that are free. We should probably just play them at this point. My hand is full. No shit. Actually, why play them? I had to think about it for a minute, but... I don't think we should play it. I think we should we should stall. Because every single attack is a new card plus block. And now it's a divinity as well. That seems... Lovely? So I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna insight... To apply vulnerability and then just smack down him. Lay the smack down on him. 108 damage smite. Yeah? He's absolutely destroyed? That was easy as hell? Deus Ex Machina, lesson learned wish. Dude, I think you want lesson learned. We need to get some upgrades done. It's late, but it's acceptable. Runic Pyramid, Dead Branch! I can't. I can't do it again. I can't. I can't do it again. I do it every time. <laughs> Admittedly, we we don't have the, we, we don't have the energy to play it. Without having a diva form in the deck, we can't do it. I'm I'm going to take I'm going to take tiny house. We upgraded defend. We got a weak potion. I don't even know what to take here. I'll I'll take a third eye. We've added in a whole lot of cards. <laughs> but I can't take Runic Pyramid. The, the last time I did Runic, uh, Runic Pyramid Dead Branch, the reason why it was successful is because of Diva Form, being able to play all of the cards. I don't have a Diva Form. I can't do that this time. Um, so I think what we're going to do is question mark maybe into Elites, save our money for the next shop, and just pray to... Pray to Niao, I guess, that we can make this run work. Honestly, this is a pretty good turn. Hopefully we get a lot of weakness. Not really what I was hoping for. That works. Well, not really. Because it's not block. Well, now we can gain block. can't kill him, but what we can do is enter Wrath, Consecrate, just lucky. Vigilance next turn we don't need because we're already going to be in Calm. I wish I could retain that scrawl. That was still a pretty good turn. We got very lucky with the miracles in the end. We'll heal. Block. Block. That's all we can do. Dude, I hate having three energy. <laughs> Trying to figure out what we do here. I guess it doesn't matter what we do because of the incense burner. I should not worry about it so much. Empty Fist does give me a lot of energy back. We have no way of entering Wrath. 
And we might get Pen Nib. So maybe I'll wait to. No, we should empty stands immediately. That's a great card. Wish I could draw that right now. Pen Nib. We should just wipe one. Scry next turn. Lesson learned, follow up, flurry of blows. We can probably kill the Darkling on the left, get a free upgrade. We get, I completely forgot about lesson learned, but we gotta get these upgrades in. So what do you do? You hit, you bite, you lesson. We got an upgraded protect. It's worth it. Tranquility. Um, I mean, another tranquility to enter calm and exhaust is nice. You're no evil. Sorry, uh, a flurry of blows for more attacks after we change stances is also nice. We have a lot of attacks though, but the attacks do give us ornamental fan, which is nice. I think I just maybe take a tranquility. Yeah. It'll be free and it retains. So let's make sure we have one of these in the deck. I'm not gonna get rid of all of this gold. I will lose a single defend. Now we have room to add in another good block, hopefully. Aren't miracles pretty lucky in general? You know what? You shut your mouth. Dude, getting awful lucky. With that miracle. <laughs> Lesson learned. It's not gonna come back around. I need to put up blocks. I mean, I could just third eye Perseverance Perseverance. It's a crappy turn, but... Now we take no damage. I'd really like to play that lesson learned, but I think we, we can't do it. So we could Calm Eruption and gain a lot of energy. And we have four energy. Hit him. We don't have a lot of blocks coming up. I would really like to be able to stall for a lesson learned. I don't know if I can. Let's get him as low as we can get him, though. Because there is a small chance that we can stall that long. We, we have him killed on any single turn if we want him. No, there's absolutely no way we can stall for that long. He's gaining three strength every single turn. Blood for Blood, Bowling Bash, Quick Slash. Let's skip. It exhausts. We get us another establishment. Can we put up 20 block? No. We get another Perseverance, though. You know, accept it. Accept that it's not always going to work. And skip these. Although, like, another Tranquility is nice because it's always going to be free after the turn that we get it. So I, I guess we could add it. And do we fight Elites or do we go for upgrades? I mean, what are we going to upgrade specifically? Lesson learned. Deus Ex Machina is pretty good for an influence, so it's a free attack. Could also remove a curse. Dude, I'm gonna go for the freaking elite. Receive two madness. So madness will make a card free and exhaust itself, giving me a new card. I think, I think I'm just gonna lose the max HP. That's a weird choice though. I do like that we are intangible. That's a big help. Give me a foreign influence. What do we get, Ragnarok? Sure. It's not free! I always think it's gonna be free. It's never free. Why do I always think it's gonna be free? <laughs> All right, you're not attacking. We can erupt. 
Flurry. We could Empty Fist. I think we should. I don't want to be in stands for... For forever. That was a mistake, though. Mental Fortress. Let's get these powers out there whenever we can. Honestly, it's a pretty good turn next turn. We can do a lot of attacking. Vigilance. Flurry. Empty Fist. Flurry. Hold the Smites for next turn. Maybe throw out a Consecrate. A, uh, a Smite ourselves. Omniscience would be nice, but we don't have the energy for it. Give me a Tranquility. Flurry of Blows. Probably didn't need to play the Tranquility, but oh well. Then we get a, a handful of free garbage. No talk to the hand, though. No weakness. So you know what? Make him weak. I mean, we'll easily be able to get enough block. Well, maybe not easily. I don't want to play these. I want to let them get stronger. Because we can heal. I hate that Talk to the Hand is the last card, but you know what? Sometimes that's just what happens. Inner Peace, draw three cards. Dude, we're gonna play both Perseverances. We're going to evaluate Flurry. Inner Peace, draw three cards. It's Talk to the Hand! We got a free vault. Talk to the Hand, we needed it. We are intangible. We got a lot of cards. Wallop is in the discard pile. Okay, thank you. Flurry. We don't need to play the Miracles. Save him for a turn when he's... When he's attacking and we're not intangible. So what do we do instead? Well... I guess we could Omniscience. Is there anything worthy of Omnisciencing? Ragnarok twice? Okay, um, that's lovely. You know what? Give me the miracle. <laughs> Add an upgraded card to my hand, sure. Add another one. Rush down. Okay, it's free. We're, we're slowly playing a lot of powers. Kind of love it. Can't play Omniscience, though, but, you know, we can add an upgraded Smite to our hand. The Smites that we add are going to be upgraded now. We can toss out and evaluate. That's 30 damage. Another Flurry. Toss out the Smite. Flying Sleeves. I really wish I had the energy for the Wave of the Hand. Unfortunately, that was the very last card that was added to our hand. This seems like a like an okay vault turn. We'll get a lot of a lot more free cards and the block will get better. So we'll just play it. I really want to exit stance. Because <laughs> I've got this tranquility I'm not doing anything with right now. Meditate. Enter calm. I can't exit stance though. I need those empty fists. Start your next turn, enter Wrath, and draw three cards. That could be good. What are we going to do on this turn? I guess you Perseverance. This might be a, an energy potion, honestly. Because he's not weak anymore. Um, drop the Inner Peace. If, if we're going to enter Wrath next turn, I think we have him. So I'm going to play it. We're also going to be frail next turn, so hopefully we can kill him. That's what I'm hoping the Wrath is going to help with. And I think we can even Lesson Learned, which is lovely. So this is Pen Nib. This is 16 damage five times. That's too much damage. 57 damage. Lesson Learned. We played a lot of potions to make that happen. I don't know if it was worth it, but 
<laughs> what's done is done. Uh, I think more retain block is lovely. We're gonna do some upgrading. We used potions, but we, we succeeded on the fight, which is lovely. Uh, wave of the hand has to be upgraded. Should have done that a long time ago. Upgrade all, car all cards, heal the full, obtain a rare relic. Let's go for a rare relic. Maybe we can get another lesson learned out of this. That is a horrible turn, but at least we have cheap blocks. <laughs> we have to. We can take no damage easily enough, but we have to. We have to get that Diva Form out there. It's too good. I really want one of those actually in the deck, but unfortunately it's it's hard to find. Should have talked should have incited in case we had a um, a wave of the hand or a uh, talk to the hand. I'm just doing this for weakness right now. Bum bum bum. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's hit you. I mean, Wallop gives us enough block, we can save the miracles. Just keep hitting you. I mean, we're doing a good job killing you. Give me a scrawl. I, I like the scrawl because we actually did get a couple... Well, we got one extra retain card, at least. Clash, sever, sweeping beam. Dude, why not? <laughs> why not sever soul? Weave, smite, do 32 damage, exhaust all other cards. I can't. I can't. We'll get more cards in re- Ah, that's it. Con four rares? Contemplate Alpha, Ragnarok, Devotion. take zero damage. Thank you, Halt. And now pretty much all I'm doing is stalling for the world's best. Sure. Lesson learned. Master Reality, I'll accept it. Doing 12 damage. Well, I need to put up a little bit of block. This almost gets us there. This does get us there. Do a little bit more damage. Just making sure we're in a position where lesson learned. We'll get a one turn KO. Give me... I gotta be careful of letter opener, though. Okay, that's five more damage. I hate it. Lesson learned. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> We're intangible. I can't put up any blocks, though. Eh, our hand is getting way too full of retain cards. <laughs> Give me the pipe. I tried. Fossilized Helix, pretty darn good, actually. I also like a Spirit Shield. We have a lot of cards in hand. Frequently, Spirit Shield is going to be worth a lot of block, I hope. A couple of upgrades, I'll be happy with that. Remove curses from your deck. Well, we got rid of one. Well, not exactly the card I wanted. At least we, you know, we shouldn't have played the Miracle because we weren't taking damage anyways. I really hate this. I don't think it's worth using the Dex Potion for, though, because I... Like, we can... We can eventually stall out, I hope, and, uh, and heal off of this. Let's 
especially with a little bit of weakness getting applied to everyone. Gotta love it. Okay. They're weak for a long time. Just gotta stall. Just gotta stall. Play those bites. Play those blocks. Hopefully slowly add in better cards that help protect us a little bit. Okay, good. A lot of free attacks now. I'll take a free Consecrate. It's, it's a kill. Then honestly? Wipe you. Not to play Lesson Learn, but just to get two enemies off the field. Give us a little bit of time on this turn, which I do enjoy. I'll pen you. I will add an insight, add a power. We can dump the smites very easily by killing Darklings, so having smites is not a problem. <laughs> I don't need three establishments game. <laughs> I mean, this is enough block already. Might as well play this smite. Yeah, because then you can just play another card when you get it. Like a brilliance. We gotta play some stuff next turn though. Definitely need more energy. That's a that's a big one here. Good, we can enter Wrath. I think now we'll be able to make Lesson Learned work. Tranquility Crescendo gives us a lot of energy. We can do a lot of damage. Let's make sure we also flurry of blows first. Bit of a mistake there. And then, two attacks kills you. Two attacks kills you. <laughs> Actually can't kill him. <laughs> I don't have the necessary number of attacks, but we can kill one. No! Letter opener is gonna kill two of them. Oh, I've... I'm so sorry. I... I'm an idiot. I tried so hard. <laughs> and in the end, I effed it. I am going to transform. Might as well. Let's get rid of a uh, basic defend. Pressure points is a horrible card. We're probably just going to remove it at the next shop. It's that bad. Thank you. Um, we're still gonna lose our buffer. I can't even play Fear No Evil. You know what? Let's let's change his attack. If we're gonna lose, oh, okay. I was gonna say if we're gonna lose buffer, let's make him do like 50 damage, but that's not really what I had in mind. 28 damage. A curse. Hey, there's a signature move. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of cards. We also have a lot of energy, so... we are hit you. Evaluate. Miracle. Consecrate. Fear no evil. Flurry of blows. We're gonna be debuff. Debuff. I'd rather not be debuff. You getting block is really not that bad. Let's play the other... Establishment and then end turn. Two establishments means Windmill Strike is now free immediately. Empty Fist. I don't need the energy. Ah! But now we're going to play that so we can attack and attack and attack. Talk to the hand. Bite. Flurry. 32 damage in a block. You know, we're taking no damage. So... Let me just 
play nothing and slowly get to lesson learned while in the wrath state. Can we do it? Twenty damage. It's it is enough. It is enough. We can get there. We can get there. We've done it. Tranquility has been upgraded, so the first time we draw it, at least it's going to be free. <laughs> I think study, adding the insights, is pretty interesting. I think I'm going to take it, because why not? Um, screw the screw the elite. We can't fight him. Because we have to get the freaking key at the next campfire anyways. We can't do anything <laughs> between now and the next, and the next shop. Or the next campfire. 18 block. I can't... E well, I can exit stance. Okay. Spirit shield. Talk to the hand. Follow up. Halt. Deceive. Tranquility. Empty fist. We're taking no damage. Hit him. We could hit him with Windmill Strike, but if we save it, it'll just be free next turn. So we'll save it. It's not like this guy's weakness. Hit him. Hit him. Fight. Third eye. Talk to the hand, wave of the hand seems like a great combination next turn. I also like Fear No Evil. Probably do not need a Tranquility. Let's dump that one. Slowly do deal some damage. Now I do want to dump a Windmill Strike, because I have too many cards in my hand. We are intangible. Another wave of the hand, huh? We don't need it, and I can't really exit stance. So I think I'm just going to instead play an attack. It's still going to apply weakness. Alright. You're weak for 10 turns, that's probably good enough. Heal. Dump it. It's a lot of cards next turn, but they're all good. We're not really drawing that many cards, but it's kind of okay. Because everything that we have is retained and free. Ragnarok. It's not free. So I'm just going to hit skip. Get another card out of my freaking draw pile. Man, I really wish I had the energy for those. Currently taking no damage. Still have the buffer. End turn. Maybe those will come back around. Slowly waiting on the bites. Um, Vigilance is coming up. Plus insights. So I think this is an okay eruption. Let's get some damage done. We also have many insights in hand, so we can probably get to what we need next turn. Actually, we can't, because we can't discard the insights. So you're doing... Oh, thank God. <laughs> so you're actually just straight up doing 58 damage. That kind of blows. But we'll hit you. And Vigilance and flurry and safety I wish I could play wave of the hand these insights have to go though I'm realizing I've made a mistake I mean we have to exit stance somehow and I don't know how to exit stance so lesson learned is gonna go into the discard pile So goodbye, lesson learned. Now I'll play the I'll play the smite just to get it out there. We don't need to play evaluate for another insight. <laughs> At least we have good block cards. Another problem though is yo, that's pretty good. Is as we play skills. 
we lose the ability to uh, play other skills because this guy's just going to constantly, constantly, constantly. Or we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna get smites in our hand, we're gonna get windmill strikes, we're gonna get the, the blocks, we're gonna add cards to our hand, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Bite him. We did what we could. 15 times 6. Also, you gotta kill this guy quickly. <laughs> Power Potion or Dex Potion or Duplication Potion. Honestly... Dump the dupe and take the Power Potion. We have to get the key piece. We have 31 HP. I'm hoping that we can get a good power, and I'm probably going to use the potion immediately. Fasting, Study, or Rush Down. I hate him. I guess we'll toss in a study. Probably also toss in a dex potion. We can buy stuff on the next shop. We have 545 freaking gold. At least we're only losing one buffer and not taking damage. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> Nothing's free, so probably dump. Wish we had more energy. You can't erupt into a Vigilance. Smite's gonna be free. 17 block. That's 14 block. You know, give me the energy. We're gonna take 20 damage, so we are dead if we ever cannot put up block from now on. And uh, considering we have to wait for our blocks to get better and cheaper, I think we're just totally screwed. This is actually the perfect card that I wanted. And that's why I played Vigilance last turn, because now I can actually play attacks. We're taking no damage. I don't believe it. And now we're getting free cards. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're taking at most two damage. I think we need to play the other study for more more draw and cards. But first, let's draw. Fasting is in the discard pile. It, we can't play it with three energy. So what do you do? Enter Calm. I think you play study. I think you play it so you can get more cards free. Or not free, but you can just get more cards. Empty Fist is energy. And we have a Tranquility in hand. I would love to be able to apply Talk to the Hand. We can do it! We got a block. Then we can talk. Then we can hit. Oh, they're weak forever! Well, it's actually not forever, but hopefully it will be forever. Conclude later. Tranquility for free. I will absolutely play it. Flurry of Blows, give me more block. Inner pieces card draw. Can we exit stance? We could get an empty fist. We did not. We could bite. We, we currently have enough blocks, so it is probably worth just hitting. Put up more block. They're weak for eight turns. We needed that weakness in order to live through this fight, so I'm glad we have it. They're getting stronger still, but we have a much better chance. Empty Fist into Energy into Meditate is probably what we do here. We're getting a lot of block. Another talk to the hand. Let's put that on the other one. A single defend. Tranquility empty mind seems pretty good. Four energy. 
Can we lesson learn? A smite, a bite will give us pen nib, but we're not getting there. Doesn't matter which one we double up on with pen nib. Lesson learns not getting a kill. If it's not getting a kill, I don't really want to spend the energy on it. I love the flurry of blows, though. I've learned to love. <laughs> two miracles and two cards in the discard pile. Okay, what's going on? Um, well, let's gain energy and cards. Card of reality, okay. We're not getting dependent. I want to get dependent, but we're not getting dependent. Like water. If you're in calm, enter block. Or gain block. Okay. Let's play like water. And then meditate. We'll put a card in our hand. What do we want in our hand? We got a lot of stuff. Um, we don't need more blocks. Or more uh, weakness, rather. They're weak for another seven turns. All the flurry of blows are going to go into our hand, unfortunately. We're going to have a few free cards. If we're going to be in Calm, something that exit stances and draws or exit stances in blocks might be kind of nice. So I'm thinking like an empty body or an empty mind. Fasting we can't work with. A protect, you know, a protect will be cheap. Um, GT Cork has missed most of the last two floors or levels. Um, <laughs> we're still alive somehow. Is, is basically what's going on here. More weakness. I don't think we need more weakness. Start of turn scry is nice. Um, let us... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let us... Sands of Time. Then Bite. Then Insight. Empty body for energy. Seems good. I'm gonna play the carves. Because he's not attacking next turn, and we basically have enough block already. We don't literally have enough block, but... Well, we, we do if I play Inner Peace. So I'm gonna play Inner Peace. Good pen nib. Then we stall. Lesson learned is, is very unlikely to get a kill, but it'll come back around. Fasting. Still not worth playing, I don't think. I think he just... I think he just hit. Draw one card. Well, I don't want these cards. We'll see what we draw. Fear no evil? I mean, it's okay. End turn? Only have to do 158 damage? We might live through this still. Bite, meditate, daze. Dump the daze. We have enough block as is, so the bite meditate's fine. And actually, I kind of like this. Flurry, bite. Okay, bite. Gain more block, pen follow up, gain the energy. Um, protect, protect doesn't get any better, so we'll play it. We'll keep the perseverances because they are better block. They're perfect block. Are we gonna meditate something back? There's nothing really to meditate back, except for like a, uh, a blasphemy, blasphemy, but that's in the draw pile. Let's instead just, uh, I don't know, play a smite, do some damage. We could have brought back the Protect that we just played. It doesn't seem that important to do, though. I just want to get Lesson Learned. <laughs> I really want to try to make it work. Battle him. We don't need two of them. In fact, I kind of want to turn off the one that we have so we can draw into a Lesson Learned. We have plenty of blocks. Do 
23 block, 9 block, 13 block. That's enough. Probably, yeah, I was gonna say, probably shouldn't be playing the, the draws to draw a lesson learned. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna try to kill this guy. It is still hard to kill this guy because we have so many freaking cards. And we're, we're adding so many cards thanks to all of the insights. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do anything, especially with the energy that we have right now. Oh my lord. Okay, deal damage, exit stance. Sure, Flurry of Blows. The insights are free damage, but it's still incredibly awkward. Oh my god, finally. He's not weak next turn. That's a bit of a risk. But we have Blasphemy, we'll sh we should be able to kill him. In fact, we're definitely gonna be able to kill him if we want. I could just play three blocks though, install, for yet another turn. The Smites will eventually get him. <laughs> 13, 17, that's 30. We can get 39 block, we'll take two damage. I don't think it's worth taking damage to stall though. But I, I guess we can still play more cards. Let's just dump these. Just playing card. Wow, we have a 74 card drop pile. <laughs> um, okay, awkward. You know. I think I've decided to kill him. We're not gonna get any more upgrades thanks to that lesson learned. Dude, if only we had four energy. I know we have, when we exit Calm, gain extra energy, but that's cumbersome. I just need more energy. I think I am going to upgrade a card though. The Perseverance is them being upgraded is um, very helpful, as is Deus Ex Machina, to get more miracles, to get more cards. I'm going to upgrade the Perseverance instead of getting 5 HP. Will it matter? I don't know. I think we want Dex, definitely. <laughs> we could take another Perseverance. I think we want Dex. I think we want the Artifact Potion for the fight against the heart. I think we want to remove a card. We can get rid of Parasite and then get seven max HP and a heal. Then, Perseverance is good block and free block the turn after we draw it. Um, so I'll grab it and then we'll grab a Attack potion, and that's all of our money spent. Now all we gotta do is live. We keep saying that, but all we gotta do is live. You no, know, hey, look at this. We're gonna have uh, extra attacks next turn. If only we're not taking 30 some odd damage, 33 damage on this turn. That kind of sucks. Well, we're, no, we're actually taking 12, which is not that bad, and I am just gonna end turn. We lost one strength, but taking 12 is not horrible. Miracle and meditate. 28 block. Then give me a Tranquility. Empty Fist. I'd really like to play Worship, but I think it's too expensive. Or an Influence into... You know, I think an Uppercut might be worth it. I'm going to play one of those. It's not going to apply Weakness, but it will punch through the protection ever so slightly. I guess what we could do is we could hit the Spire Shield on the left so that we can weaken him next turn, hopefully, and then turn back around. We're intangible next turn. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's hit this guy. Can I play three attacks? Doubt it. If I play Perseverance, we take no damage. If I play the other Perseverance, we t also take no damage. So we should play the free one. And then maybe Worship? 
We take no damage. We um, are halfway to Divinity already. We're taking no damage on this turn, and Talk to the Hand is a lovely card to have. Give me a bite. We have an insane amount of block coming up next turn, which is lovely. We have Pen Nib. Pen Nib, free perseverances, and free smites. Well, we'll play the smites. Could just immediately vault right now. We're not really doing anything else with the turn. The perseverances will get stronger and we'll have a free smite. So you know what? Let's do it. What else are we doing with our turn? Nothing! So, heal, hit. You're doing 16 damage. So an evaluate is enough block. Let's meditate back a card. We could meditate back a worship. We're not really gonna have a, a ton of attacks, but we'll have a smite, we'll have two smites actually. I think this is actually not that bad. Now we're in Divinity with eight energy, so... Almost get a kill on the Spire Spear on the right. Only need to do four more damage, or six more damage, which is another five skills. We can probably play five skills. I mean, we have the cards in hand to do it. We could also fast and that would be enough damage. Because we have free free cards, I'm gonna do this specifically to make sure we get the kill on him now. And these blocks are worth slightly more. We have a little bit more strength. I think we'll be fine. It is gonna be hard to get Lesson Learned to, to activate, but I think that's okay. That's a good vault. 26 block. Currently taking no damage. He's not going to be very weak, though. Let's draw. Let's make him weaker. What is this three? <laughs> Nirvana, whenever you scry, gain block. Okay. We're going to erupt? If we erupt, we gain a, gain a lot of energy. I don't think it's an eruption turn. I think it's a... Smacking turn. I don't think we're gonna wait until we hit, um... Oh, we gotta worry about intangibility. I, th I don't think we're gonna wait until we hit, uh... Lesson learned. I think we're just gonna worry about killing, but you never know. Maybe we'll actually get the opportunity to do that. It all depends! Should have, been, should have been playing these cards. Let's... Empty Mind. Wave of the Hand. Like Water. Bite. Consecrate. Smite. Making him weak slightly longer. We're not in Calm, though. We're still not able to kill him, so stalling actually is fine. Weirdly enough. It's not great, but it is acceptable, I think. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot of burns upcoming. You can just, like, smack him to dump it. Taking no damage. We're almost healing to full, too. It's another reason why maybe the stall is perfectly acceptable. And then we do have Lesson Learned in hand. Can we play it? Can we kill? Unfortunately, we don't have the energy. Maybe if we use the attack potion. Hold up. 10 damage plus 8. Oh, my lord. I don't think we can get there. <laughs> well, you know. If we can't get there, we can at least heal. Heal. 
And again, I'm, I'm not really stalling. You know, wait, we can meditate it back, because eventually we are going to draw meditate. We have two of them coming up shortly, so we should be able to stall to make it happen. So I'm thinking, like, uppercut. Perseverance. We take none. There's a vault. I kind of like that. I also like just playing the defense. We're also losing strength slowly, so we need to think about killing him. But next turn we're going to get Meditate, and the turn after that we'll be able to bring back our... Lesson learned. We'll have extra energy. Okay, you know, I think... I think we just stall for a little longer. Again, not necessarily trying to. I'm just doing this. Because if I do this, we don't take damage right now. And I'm not killing him anyways because we don't have the energy for it because of mistakes made previously. So meditate back. The lesson learned right now. He's dead next turn. Some One way or another, he's dying next turn. Let's bring lesson learned back. It's actually cheap too, which is lovely. We're not exiting stance, but we have three energy and a lot of attacks. A bite has been upgraded. <laughs> and we have the boot, which may or may not bypass the heart's intangibility. I don't really know. OMG, these lesson learned runs, says Milk Chug. Look, I like the card, okay? So we have 37 cards in our deck. It's expensive as all hell. We have a buffer. We need to ensure that buffer lives. So we'll defend, establish, battle him, ancient potion so we're not vulnerable, and end turn. Good luck. We are frail. You're not doing that much damage, though. If we can make you weak, that'd be perfect. Okay. Vigilance. Miracle. Protect. We're going to lose the buffer immediately. Just luck of the draw, really. Um, you know, he's not doing his big attack. He's doing his, his many attack. We could try to bring in, like, a, a weakness generating card, but we're still not going to be able to play it. Perfect turn for the Void, by the way. Because if we play it, we'll go down to 14 block and we'll still lose the buffer anyway. So I think you just end turn, except that the buffer is gone. We get a couple of cards next turn at least that are free. It's an awful turn, but I don't think there's any, any other way around it. Now we are on lethal. This absolutely sucks. Um, just, just give me the reach heaven, I guess. We need to block. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. We're not dead though. Unfortunately, though, we're not exiting stance, and without the ability to exit stance, I'm not able to get the extra energy. And super, super, super unfortunately, we have no talk to the hands and no wave of the hands, so he's not going to be weak nor block returned. This has been a pretty awful couple of turns, hasn't it? I want to dump cards. Consecrate Flurry of Blows. Dump both of those. Empty Fist. This is a card I want next turn, not this turn. Foreign Influence. Die, die, die. Riddle with Holes and Perfected Strike. Riddle with Holes is nice for the block return. Collect. Okay, I like it. We'll get extra energy next turn. Okay. You're only doing 15 damage because we're intangible. It's not a great intangibility turn, but it's something. We're 
We're not able to put up a lot of block, unfortunately, but let's see what happens. I mean, we'll gain a little bit of block back. We will uh, still hit you. Take two damage. If I play two more attacks, we'll gain a little bit more block. So there we go. Okay, we have a Perseverance for next turn. Next turn his big, is his big turn, though. We got very unlucky with the intangibilities, though. Oh, and I, I think we're dead because Talk to the Hand's not gonna apply. Even if we draw Weakness, it's not gonna apply. There's a small chance we could make this work, though. We have to draw Wave of the Hand, though. But we can't apply enough block. No, we can with attacks, but then we can't play Talk to the Hand. I, I mean, I think I think we're screwed is how this this ends up. I think this is what we need. Wave of the Hand, Deus Ex Machina being drawn. So we... Wave of the Hand. Block. <laughs> Notice we're not getting any, uh, any block cards. If I play three attacks, we'll gain block but we are lose out on a lot of energy. So let me scrawl. This is what we need. Okay, now we can talk to the hand. Then we can talk to the hand again. Worship does not get us where we need to go. We could change stances again, which is probably what we're gonna do. Should have played talk to the hand first. A little bit of a mistake. I think we're gonna get there. We're getting six block every attack. Well, it's actually five block minus the block return. Flying sleeves could be worth it. You know, tranquility is more block because of the flurries. We'll also make you vulnerable, so you're taking more damage. Oh my God, we made it. <laughs> I honestly don't believe it, but there we go. We've done it. We're taking no damage and he's weak for 18 turns. Whoo. That was scary. Thanks to the block return, we can bite and slime and devotion. End turn. You're doing 36 damage. Who cares about 36 damage? We're so close to divinity. Next turn, we'll get divinity if we play worship. We just need to make sure we live. So. We should probably put up as much block as we can. Alpha, Beta, Omega is way too slow. But if we got nothing else, we might still play it. Give me a foreign influence. An artifact. I don't think artifact does anything, but flechettes is a ton of block. It's also good damage as well. So now we can worship. Next turn we will hit our divinity. I do want to play bite, but we can't do it. That's fine. You're doing a lot of damage. Guess what? I can't really put up that much block, but I've got a perseverance in my hand at least. Let's just make sure we can live. Another talk to the hand. <laughs> Eight block per attack. We might get there. More powers. Play it. Play it. Play it. We're currently taking six damage. Do you save Perseverance or do you play it? I don't freaking know. I guess you save it. We could play Tranquility for another card. Okay, we're taking two damage now. I'll accept it. 
da 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 Too little. You're not attacking this turn. We could play a study for insights and draw, but every insight is two damage. But we're not exhausting cards, and as a result, well, I mean, we're exhausting spikes, but we're not exhausting other cards, so we're not really doing that much damage, unfortunately. I don't think we can we can safely enter eruption. We'll draw it anyways. I don't think you study. I, th I think this is fine. Let's see what happens with Eruption. Maybe we will play it. Man, it's... it's You know what? It's far too risky. It's far too risky. I mean, it's fun. But it's risky. If we play Prostrate, we'll be at 7 Divinity... Or 7 Mantra next turn. We'll gain the energy. I don't think you do it, though. You do have Pen Nib. Judgment doesn't do anything. You know what? Six strength. Intangibility on his big hit is lovely. A Riddle with Holes is damage and block. I feel like we can do better, but at least it's something that we can do on this upcoming turn. Healing is also nice. Third eye for the next turn is, is real big. I don't really know what to do on this turn, though. Give me the third eye for the scry. What do we want next turn? An empty fist, flurry of blows, carve reality swivel is nice. We don't need the swivel, though. Everything else we want next turn. Absolutely freaking lootly. On this turn, give me the heal. Give me a... It's not going to be free. Give me a skip. You know... Is this his big hit? He's going to do like 120 damage. Well, no, he's weak, so he's only going to do 90. But we can we can actually output a lot of blocks, which is freaking crucial. We can also pen nib a wall up very shortly. We're gonna we're gonna easily get enough block, believe it or not. <laughs> now, oh man, we could have mantra on this turn. Next turn, he we are gonna be able to to um, to divinity, so we should stall big time. Next turn, we're gonna have triple damage. I think we're gonna win, and this is real flippin' dumb, but we freaking have done it. 12 damage flurry of blows. Give me a smite. Give me a smite. Give me a consecrate. Give me a consecrate. Cut through fate. Those are good cards. Perseverance. Hold it in hand. Fear no evil. Conjure blade. We only need 46 damage dealt. Now he is doing... It's expunger. It's, it's not enough. We only played it for three, but we got a flurry of blows. Okay, okay, okay. Hit him. Hit him. It's 27 damage plus 12. It's 39 damage. Plus an empty fist. Or one skill, two skill, three skill. I cannot believe that run was successful, but holy shit, Dead Branch wins apparently all of my Watcher runs these days. Thank you, Dead Branch. That was incredibly silly. <laughs> and honestly, freaking 
three talk to the hands plus all of those free flurry of blows that's the only way we won this run holy balls way to go letter opener gg <laughs> i will also say we had a miraculous turn getting Wave of the Hand and Deus Ex Machina being able to play all of those blocks was the only way in hell we were living on that fight because we had to make the Heart Weak and we were barely able to make the Heart Weak and apply those Talk to the Hands. But thank you, Brain, for taking all those Perseverances. We needed them. The deck did end up getting awful thick at the end, not only because we were adding cards and we had 70 cards in hand. Or sorry, 70 cards in the deck. <laughs> but we did it. Barely. I don't like Violet Lotus, at least not when I'm building into specifically entering and exiting stances, but it was an energy relic. Without having ice cream, though, the extra energy you get from exiting calm is a lot of the times wasted, especially on a run like this when we had a lot of free cards, thanks to the innate establishment and battle him. But we were able to barely make it work. Dead Branch. Dead Branch plus a lot of survivability thanks to Incense Burner, Fossilized Helix, and then at the very end, the very last shop, Oddly Smooth Stone and Lee's Waffle. Nice run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if I want to go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you again for the next run of Slay the Spire.